up YouTube? This is Nicodemus from Droid Cheats and I don't know why I haven't made this video before but here is how to take your Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 the 7 inch version and put it back to original stock not rooted. The version I have is the P3113 and that's the one I'm going to be showing you how to put back to stock. There's a link in the description that will take you to this thread on the XTA developers website and it says how to restore your tablet to stock. So it says you need to get Odin and if you don't already have Odin installed, um, which you should, I mean if you've already rooted your device and put custom ROMs on it and already had a custom recovery on it, then you should already have Odin and you should already have the proper drivers installed to be able to hook your tablet up to the computer. So if you don't understand or don't have some of that, just go back to my video on how to root and install a custom firmware for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 and that will show you how to get all that set up. So assuming you have Odin already set up and either Samsung keys to get your drivers or if you've downloaded the drivers manually, the next thing you need to do is just click on this link here that says Sam Mobile and it says you need to be registered to download the firmwares. I will warn you, downloading the firmwares from this site is extremely slow. Actually, the first time I tried to download it, it said it was going to take you know, about an hour and a half. Ridiculous, and I've got a pretty fast internet. And it ended up freezing up at about 40%. So I clicked on the link again, downloaded it again. That one downloaded. I don't actually know how long it took because I went away from the computer. But keep in mind, it looks like it's going to be an extremely slow download because you're not actually getting the firmware from the SAM mobile site. They've, put, they've uh, uploaded it to another file hosting site and the speed is undesirable to say the least. So to find the latest firmware for your device, so anyway it takes you to this page and up here at the top you can search for device. Oh, I'm sorry. So what we're going to do is just click on firmwares and right here you enter the type, it is a tablet, Android operating system, the model, it's a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 Wi-Fi and you have the 3110 or the 3113. You could also have the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 that's not Wi-Fi that you have through you know, AT&T or something like that. But anyway, mine's the P3113, so I'm going to click on that, country, you got cellular south unknown or top 10 latest let's click on top 10 latest and unknown is what I'm gonna go with it's from December 2012 that's the latest one so just click on that you can try to enter the code and click on submit for some reason it doesn't work for me I'll show you um, actually once you try it once, it will give you a link. Okay, I take that back. That time it worked. Last time I tried it, it said that there was a parse error in, a, in one of the JSON files. It's If you don't know what that means, basically something went wrong with the website and then it popped up a little link where you could just click on another link that would still take you basically to this same page click on regular download and it has has you waiting for forty some seconds before you can download it so I'll be back here in a second when that's done alright now we just click here to download and if you noticed on that page before it said it takes up to two hours to download unless you're a member of course and then it can be thirteen minutes um, I, I highly suggest once you download this ROM keep it safe keep it somewhere so you don't ever have to download from this horribly slow site again. So you just click on save file of course and then you save that. Alright, now I've already saved the file. So let's close this. And we're going to go and open it up. I have it in my downloads. Okay, here it is right here. So you actually have to open it up and then inside you have the file name .tar .md5. Let's go ahead and take that out and put it on the desktop real quick. You have to extract that. 
you can't flash just the zip file. You have to unzip it. Now I can go back into my downloads, which is where I have Odin downloaded. And you need to right click and run this as administrator. Don't forget to do that. Yes. Okay, do not check repartition. Leave auto reboot checked. And right here under PDA, click on that. And this is where we're going to go back to the desktop and enter this file that we just extracted. Click on open. Now that file's ready to be flashed. Boot into recovery mode. We're going to hold the volume up button and the power button at the same time. The device will turn off and then it'll come back up with the boot animation. Now we can let go. And we will enter our custom recovery whenever it's ready. You wonder what that says? I love my home. Awesome. Okay. Now, can you see that? We need to go down. Oops. Wipe data factory reset. That's the first thing you need to do. In case you didn't know or you forgot, volume up and volume down moves throughout the menu. The power button selects. Okay, that is correct. That is done. Now what we need to do is hold power down. I'm sorry, hold volume down and the power button to put it in download mode. And here we go. Custom OS can cause critical problems, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so what we're going to do now is plug it in. I'm going to wait for my computer to recognize it. And I almost forgot I need to push volume up to continue. And I didn't show you originally. I should have showed you I was running a custom firmware. It says right here, current binary custom. So, and the custom binary download, yes, four counts. That is, if you need warranty done on your device and they see that you've installed custom firmwares, it will void your warranty. So you need, there is a way with, um, it's called triangle away I think is what it's called and it will reset that to zero you can just search on Google for that I don't know if I'm gonna make a video for that I don't care because I'm never gonna if this thing breaks it's getting thrown in the trash I don't care so now that we are in download mode we need to go back to Odin and where it says ID colon com you have com3 so it recognizes it it's there it's ready to go auto reboot is checked repartition is not checked that's correct and you make sure you put it on the file under PDA and we just click on start checking MD5 do not unplug the cable please wait firmware update start <laughs> Oh yeah. Wonder if I should leave that in the video. Not sure exactly how long this is going to take yet. I this is the first time I put it back to stock. I was running the Pac-Man ROM and honestly, I mean this device is not something I use daily. Um this is my daughter's tablet and she's not been a fan of it, so um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I The little bit that I used it trying to fix some things that she had going on, I really wasn't sure how well it was running. Um, but if you've ran the ROM and you like it, go ahead and put a comment. Let us know what you thought of it. If it sucked, if it was good, let everybody else know so they can decide whether or not to install that. Or uh, any other ROMs that you may have installed. Or if you've 
got one that you'd like to see if it would work well on this tablet, you know, I'll, I'll install it and make a video for it. You got a green bar right under where it says Factory FS showing the progress. I think we're at about four minutes or so right now. It's completely done. I can go ahead and unplug it. And it may take a second for it to boot up this first time. Anyway, there you go. It finally got done. And you have a completely brand new stock Galaxy Tab 2. And there you go. Um, hang on one second. I'll go ahead and set this up so you can see. Okay. Everything is set up so I can show you here in the settings about device as you can see right here model number P GT P3113 Android version 4.1.1 and that's it you are back on stock free to do whatever you want again in case you you know messed up a custom ROM that you had or whatever something went wrong you completely wiped everything and you want to start over that's how you do it it's pretty simple um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. Give me a like. Tell me what you thought. And please don't forget to subscribe. So anyway, I appreciate it once again. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.